there's a significant amount of agricultural waste that is burned every year uh, throughout the globe as the result of just trying to get rid of uh, this waste byproduct of our, our production of food. And StrawJet was designed to take those waste stocks and convert them into a usable building product. Uh, and then we were later able to determine that we might be able to use it as a fuel wood source. So we wanted to create a product that allowed for them to use annually renewable agricultural material uh, instead of uh, old growth or medium growth forest. So a forest that were 15, 20 years. So the straw jet process works by taking waste agricultural stock that's over half a meter in length, so approximately two foot, and compressing it in a natural process um, with no glues and no heat into a sustainable building material. So annually renewable sustainable building material. Uh, it's a very simple process. Um, we basically have a set of conveyors that feed in the agricultural waste and then out the end is extruded our first building unit which is the straw jet cable. We take that and we have a couple of options. If we're using it as a fuel wood substitute that's where it ends. So the material is then cut into lengths that are appropriate for use as a fuel wood substitute just like a fire stick or a fire log. But if we want to build with it most times the two inch cable does not have enough innate strength and so what we need to do is combine multiple cables with a machine that we call the multi-wrapper and that allows us to create uh, two configurations either quads or what we call hexes and those allow for the construction of various wall segments. So I think one of the biggest challenges that we're facing is getting this type of technology accepted uh, as a solution because people think of waste agricultural material as waste and so transforming that mentality to be looking at the possibilities and how we can really make this a new product that, that really has unlimited capabilities is really the next step. Doing that is going to require two major groups. One is going to be governments and non-governmental organizations and corporations that can help finance the, this development work. But the other group, and probably the more important one, is the individuals, both in the developing world and in the developed world, who really are no longer going to accept that we have a throwaway culture and they need to interact with their government and say we need to start taking that which was waste and start using it as a solution for our current situation. Changing that mentality is really at the core essence of what StrawJet has been trying to do and what we see as the solution for moving forward is taking waste and making it into usable products either as a fuel wood substitute or as a building material or in any other way that we can take and remove the grave component of a cradle-to-grave solution and make it a cradle-to-cradle -cradle type concept.